Net zero, our goal to balance the emissions we release with the emissions we remove from the atmosphere. So, how do we get there? EU institutions and member states have made good progress in reducing emissions by investing in renewable energy and setting clear targets. They have committed in law to cut their emissions by over half by 2030 and to reach net zero by 2050. But to fully reach our net zero targets, we need a way to permanently remove large amounts of existing carbon dioxide from our atmosphere and fully decarbonize our industrial and power sectors. And this needs to happen now. A crucial part of the solution is carbon capture, utilization and storage, or CCUS for short. CCUS can help to reduce emissions from many of the industrial products that are critical to our economy, like the fertilizer we need to grow our crops and the cement and glass we need to build new homes. And for the times when renewables can't produce enough power to meet our energy needs, CCUS can directly capture emissions from flexible power stations that ensure we can keep the lights on and maintain a reliable energy supply. Technologies like bioenergy with carbon capture and storage and direct air capture and storage will help to remove carbon dioxide already in the atmosphere from sectors that cannot easily decarbonize. Carbon capture can be combined with hydrogen production to make low-carbon hydrogen, which can be used as a fuel for heavy industry or transport or to make low-carbon electricity. Some captured carbon dioxide can be used to make essential products like building materials, food packaging and chemicals. And this process is known as Carbon Capture and Utilization, or CCU. However, given the volumes of CO2 we produce, most will need to be permanently stored. Captured carbon dioxide will be transported by ship or pipeline to be injected into offshore storage sites where it can be permanently stored deep within rocks, typically one to three kilometers beneath the seabed. Europe has access to a large capacity for permanent storage of carbon dioxide. The European Commission projects that by 2040, EU member states will capture around 280 million tons per year, rising to almost half a million tons every year by 2050. Industries in Europe urgently need to clean up their emissions in order to meet Europe's climate targets. To keep these industries thriving, they need a way to reduce their emissions without disrupting their growth. We can do this with carbon capture. CCUS will enable our industries to produce new low-carbon products like clean cement, just as demand is growing for these products globally. CCUS infrastructure will transform the EU's industrial regions so that existing businesses can decarbonize as the cost of emitting carbon rises, as well as attracting new businesses to locate here. CCUS is ready now, with many projects in development across Europe, which have been made possible by national funding programs. To further unlock the exciting potential of CCUS, and ensure we meet the EU's climate and net zero targets, we need more governments to secure billions of private sector investment into industrial regions and develop these CCUS programs. The development of carbon capture, utilization and storage will be essential for tackling climate change, growing our economy and creating a cleaner, greener future for all. CCUS, enabling a net zero future.